and we're live already two people here oh my goodness that was quick that was quick guys just wanna oh one left all right one person wait for a few people to come in How's it going, Sunfish? Uh, Norm, how's it going, buddy? I uh, I caught some of your, your stream. I was fishing myself last night, so I was kind of um, with the family and kind of watching what we are doing. Uh, JB, Richard, PD, thank you guys for coming in so quickly. 12 people, two thumbs up. Just want to show you what, what the Chris Flores rod is looking like so far. Um, of course, this is my, that is my, uh, So that's the rod right there. That's the progress, what's happening. Kentucky, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, that is only the accent color you're seeing. Let me move my, um, my net so I'm not confusing people here. I'll put the net there. And uh, what you're seeing right there right now is you're seeing a lot of that uh, fluorescent hot pink. And that is, like I said, that is only the accent piece. I'm gonna grab it and sit down and, and, and tell you exactly what I'm gonna be doing most of the rod will not be painted in pink it's only be, it's only going to be striped in pink the primary color will be in this color so right now what i'm doing is i'm trying to paint these sections right there here and then what i did yesterday i worked on the top and bottom so th these sections here have already been painted in clear i don't know i'm not, I'm not sure if you can see that shininess here I did that because I didn't want it to get scratched up on top. Sorry guys, that's Mason in the background making noise. And then I also finished the bottom piece. Oh, thank you so much, PD. Thank you for doing that. Five dollars. I wasn't expecting any super chats, but I greatly appreciate it. And the bottom. The bottom has been finished and it's just masked off so it doesn't get it doesn't get scratched up. I mean eventually it will get scratched up. Um, but I'm gonna show you the primer, what I'm doing. So that's the progress. Um, like I said, the, that is not the primary color. It is not. It's going to be primarily the, the fluorescent yellow. Um, but it's, 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 a, it's a lot of process to get it looking like that, guys. That already has two coats of primer and about 10 coats of that fluorescent color there. I'm going to turn the camera around so I can uh, talk to you a little bit better. Here we go. All right. Let me put the camera down. Let me grab a rod. I'm going to show you some primers. Hello, I'm still in Cleveland. Be back next week. All right. Oh, that's right, Tony. I'm sorry about to hear about your dad passing. If I got you correct, the right person. <clears throat> um, so once again, guys, this is the rod. Yesterday, like I mentioned, I, I worked on the top and bottom. And all I'm trying to do is finish these areas. Um, you have to pick out a tape. This is, I have two sizes of tape. I'm probably going to use... I'm not sure if a one inch or this smaller one. Um, and I already, I already gave it about um, 10 coats of fluorescent and I cleared it twice. It takes two coats to clear coat. So <clears throat> I'm, I, might, I might even go to the store and get um, frog tape, the yellow delicate. Once again, PD, thank you so much for that, that super chat. Really appreciate that. So um, I still have to clear the rest because I've been, Today, this morning, I've been working on this other. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference where it's kind of flat. Um, so once, once I'll, what I'll do is once I figure out the pattern I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, be doing, I'll mask it off. You know, I'm, of course, I'll do it really nice and straight, but something like that. So the pink will stay here, and then I'll probably do one on top. I'm just doing this really quickly guys so the only part that's going to stay looking pink are these accent pieces right there and i'll continue that theme going down like this and the rest here after i mask it off it will have to be primed again you have to prime it so the first this this has already been primed twice with the zinzer one two three the whole rod i painted the, i primed the whole thing two coats um on my other old rods that I've been fishing with, the uglies have been painted, uh, primed with oil base, killed, which works really, really well, but it takes a long, long time to dry. And if you rush it, the paint will crack. So I'm really hoping that this is going to hear really well because it would break my heart 
to have uh, flaking paints once once we get a big a big fish on. Um, so, anyways, that's the primer, and then I started to give it around. It's hard to believe, and it's it's even hard for me to even say it's got about 10, 10 coats already. Maria, thank you, Maria's world. Thank you so much for coming in. So, just kind of explaining. Yesterday, I worked on this top half. What you're seeing here, this is not the primary color. Those who are just tuning in, this is. I'm just working on the accent points. Um, I have to clear the rest of it, but only this piece is here will stay hot pink, and the rest, even this piece here, I'm thinking about leaving in in the fluorescent yellow. Um, I noticed that this yellow really, really stands out under the black lights. Um, thank you, Avid, Betty, Sunfish, Maria's World, uh, Carping Catfish, JB, Maurice. Thank you, Maurice. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, I mean, when I say in a while, it is in, in other streams. Uh, Ace, guys, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just wanted to, to try to explain. So anyways, after I, I do this, I mask off all where I want to keep the accents. I will have to reprime it to kill the pink. Like I mentioned in the video before, I know that everyone can't watch every single one of my videos. You, you have to, you just can't start putting uh, fluorescent paint over the pink because it, it won't cover. I mean, it would take about 20 coats. So once you mask this off, you prime it with white again, start over, and then the yellow will, will start to cover a lot quicker and faster. Um, the clear coat that I'm using, and you know, I've had pretty good success with, is, is the, um, the crystal. This is the, the, the oil base. Um, you do have to give it minimum two, two coats of clear. Um, if you only give it one coat, uh, it, it would just kind of dole out. The second coat makes it shiny. I'm not sure if you can see the shininess right around here. Like I said, I worked on this top half right now. Um, I'm working on the rest. Um, this is dull. It already has 10 coats. I gave it this morning 10 coats. Um, this this uh, fluorescent paint dries pretty quickly. I know I know. I might be having questions, guys. I just, I get a lot of, uh, is, yes, it is, Kentucky. It is the blue. I know. I, I was even thinking about trying to keep this beautiful, um, where it said uh, Chris Flores, uh, his design. Guys, this is the Chris Flores rod that I won. I'm not sure, some of y'all don't watch all my videos. Look, all I need is those rods. <laughs> uh, yeah, to direct traffic. <laughs> I got you, Murillo. Um, yeah, well, you're heartbroken. So <laughs> yes, I, I did. It, it, it is the Chris Flores rod and um, he was on the stream and I asked permission. Hey, do you mind if I bling it up? He says, bling it up, do your thing. So I did get permission. Um, I know it is my rod, but he did give it away and it is branding, but you know, I'll be using it. Um, I just, so all of this guys, I'm going to keep this part right here, this part, um, as an accent point here, here, here. So this part will be yellow, the bright yellow. Let me kind of show you, um, this is, um, my, uh, extension pole to, to net my fish. So the same thing happened here, guys. I primed the whole thing white, and then I worked on the yellow. I had a lot of overspray come this way. Mask this off. I, you know, you, you give it 10 coats, clear two times, let it dry overnight. Then you can mask it off with tape here, and then prime white again, and then start working on the pink. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, this one is flaking on top here because it is a, a very um, oily plastic, but I don't think that's going to happen down here. Um, let me go back and see if there's Roger. How are you doing? Um, I know it's uh, classic, chunky, sexy. Yeah, um, like I said, guys, this this hot pink is only the accent points. I'm gonna. I really want to keep it that most of it in the yellow. So once again, if you're just tuning in, I already finished. I I met. This is just so, so when I'm laying it up against the wall, it's not getting scratched up. So this eye. And the bottom piece has been finished already and i just it doesn't have tape on it but i did put tape there but the hot pink will only stay here and it's so on and so forth going down the rod um the main color will be the yellow i really like the way this yellow stands out at under the black lights been fishing not working huh? must rat thank you so much i didn't expect 24 people to come in but um i really appreciate y'all y'all doing that and the super chat just want to explain. I get a lot of questions. Is how how do you do it? I know I know that. I mean, you if you want me to to spray pink uh, another coat, which would probably make it eleven or twelve coats. I have no problem doing that. You know, it's just spray painting. 
The good thing about this paint, guys, it's not extremely uh, stinky. Yes, it, 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 it is a spray can you're supposed to cover, but go try to find a mask right now these days. It's just not going to happen. And I'm not going to be using my N95 mask that I go out. Yes, I, I still I am wearing a mask. I know some of you are not, and that's okay, but I am. I'm not going to use my mask right now to, to mess it up with fluorescent pink. That'd be funny going in the stores with, with the fluorescent pink mask. <laughs> Woo, I'm in the rare... Uh, wait. Um, oh, you're on the river. Yes. As a matter of fact, last night when Norm was um, fishing, I was on the river with my family and I was, my wife would get mad because, you know, she's like, it's family day today, you know, get off YouTube, but it's hard not to watch YouTube. You know, it's, we're so, I mean, at least I'm addicted to watching um, YouTube. Uh, all right, guys. So I'm going to do a quick, not that it, I don't think it needs it. Like I said, I already gave, like I said, um, let me see. We'll explain this one more time. Hoover's coming in. One more time. I know we're gonna have a lot of people coming in. This time I'm using the the water-based primer spray can. This one yesterday I was having trouble. I I have two or three of these cans and they were all not so much spitting, but it had a lot a lot of drippage here. You have you have to push the spray can straight down. That'd be funny if I sprayed and covered the camera right now. Um, so this is the primer that I'm using, and then just fluorescent colors, guys, from Home Depot. They work awesome. Um, uh, I have a few in there for you. Absolutely. I will take them. Trust me. I really appreciate you doing that, Betty. As a matter of fact, let me see, Betty G. You were, you were live yesterday, right? I want to make sure I don't, I'm not crossing people. I've done that before. You, you did a live stream and I didn't have the bell on. So I, I do apologize for not having the bell on your channel. And, I, and if it was you, I promise I'll try not to miss the next live stream. That was awesome. I'm glad you did that. Mr. Chad, how you doing? You, you and Norm did, w w the little I saw, y'all did fantastic. I love it. I love that y'all were on the river fishing. Um, no biggie, I'm just playing and trying. Yes, but I, I, tried, I tried to click on, I, I don't even really call that your picture, your icon or whatever, and I was, trying, I was having trouble seeing your videos. I'm not sure. It, it just shows like the people who you're subscribed to. Um, I don't know, maybe I had poor internet. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick spray down um, on these, on this, if, if anyone cares. Maybe we'll see if we get overspray on my face. That'll be cool. I had overspray on my face yesterday. And if I show you my feet, they have primer from yesterday. And yes, I took a shower last night, but to primer, that's how good this primer is. It doesn't come off very easy. Outdoor addiction. Maurice, once again, I want to make sure I'm uh, Kentucky. Uh, just, uh, yes, uh, Justin Fish and Fetish. Um, I, I caught a little bit of your stream last night, believe it or not. I, I was, I didn't want to comment. I was just, I was tired. I was pooped out. Um, but yes, I saw a little bit, you and your daughter. Um, I'm not sure you left at a certain point and she was just looking up. I think she was trying to read comments or something, but yes, uh, that's very adorable that you're out there with your, your daughter. I love it. I love the same thing when Kentucky does the same thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, my toenails are not painted. I mean, I just have white drips. Cause like I said, that primer was, was dripping. All right, guys, let's, 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 let's spray it up a little bit here. I mean, it's not, let me get a little bit out of the way. And I know people are going to say, put a mask on. You know what? My dad had me, uh, sanding houses with lead based paint when I was a kid. And I guess I'm doing all right. Well, maybe that's why I'm a little wacky. So we'll see. I'm not sure if that's coming yeah, it is coming out of the camera. Like I said, um, this is what we're working on right now. This is just going to be the accent. I mean, I guess just the, the decoration of the rod. This is not going to be the primary color. This is the, the primary color is going to be yellow. I know this this uh, hot pink looks really really nice, but I, I noticed that the yellow really stands out underneath the black lights. Let me show you yesterday. Yesterday I was having trouble with the primer, and here's the thing: is when you rush it, you're touching things, and I touched it. I'm not sure. Let me see that right around there. You know what, guys? I I do mess up and. You know, that's, that's just me. So 
So once again, if you're seeing this down here, um, yesterday I did finish this part off. Um, I just have it covered up because when I'm laying it down on concrete, I don't want it to get scratched up. Yes, I know it's gonna get scratched up eventually, but not right now. Um, so I just sprayed the top and I just wanna show you, this is the same rod and where I started from this point on this way, it's been finished yesterday. Of course, just this, this I'm working on this part. It's already dry. So in other words, that's already one coat. I'm just saying how fast you can give it coats. This is the same rod I just started up here. And I, and I do try to add, I'm gonna put this one away. I mean, I don't need any more paint. It already has, but I'm gonna try to explain something here. I do give, um, I do give the backside just a little bit more attention. You may say, why Alton? Well, you know, I'll be honest. I'm not sure if, if fluorescent paints have like an expiration. In other words, where the UV hits it so much and it might expire or it starts to dole out. So I try to add um, more fluorescent where the black lights are hitting it. The black lights were always hitting from the sides and the back because we're always trying to see the takedowns. You know, that's what everyone wants to see. So I always add more fluorescent to the backside. So, I mean, you can see, I mean, I just finished spraying the other one, but like I said, this one already has 10 coats. I don't think it needs any more. Let me see, make sure if I have any luck, Betty. Yeah, Betty was out fishing yesterday, which I, I'm thinking it's her husband. I mean, I didn't hear, how the whole, I didn't see the whole video, um, but that's awesome. Um, let's see here, Athletic Monkey 68, thank you so much. Um, coolest in the, uh, well, are you, I'm not sure if you're talking to me, if I had the coolest grass in the neighborhood, let me just say one thing, um, years past, possibly yes, but, um, anyways, we used to pay a company who would come and treat the grass. In other words, um, fertilize it, seed it, um, weed killer. And we didn't do it this year just because how tough things got three months ago. Um, I had been with him for over 10 years and he's like, Hey, Elston, you know, I noticed that you haven't, you know, paid the year, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I can, I can deal with sloppy grass and it's not that bad. Let me, I mean, if y'all care, if y'all care, but we're, my wife is going to order a new place set over there. And I, and I said, why wow, that one's still good. You know what? This place set here guys had a canopy on top. And my wife has a, a licensed daycare. She's trying to expand it to, to nine. I don't know if y'all even care about this, but we're just gonna talk about it. <laughs> um, she's trying to expand it, the, her license to nine children. So zoning comes out here and they're like, that place it, that place it, it's, it's too close to the fence. You need to move it over. You guys, you have no idea how, how heavy that place it, it was to move it over one foot this way. It was absolutely terrible. Um, and then of course my wife says, we have to take off that canopy. We have it laying down over there somewhere. So anyways, um, and I am starting to work on my basketball court again. I, I don't wanna, I, I just finished painting the red and the white lines around the red. I need to do the green um, and I don't because I spend way too much time painting rods, <laughs> painting rods. <laughs> uh, and if you ask me, can I make a three pointer? No, I can't even make a free throw. Ooh, so I to know more about each other. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. You know, one time I did a video about me painting kitchen cabinets. Oh, it had to be about three years ago. You can look for it and find it. And someone was like really mean. Yeah, there's mean people in this world and I understand that. Um, they're like, Elston, nobody cares about what you do. You know, just stick to fishing. I was like, wow. You know, it's like, I don't need you around. <laughs> uh, so anyways, guys, that's that's what I want to show you. How, uh, DMV Whisker, thank you so much, Stomba guy. You're amazing. You know, th this guy, he goes back um, and watches my videos, and it, it's unbelievable. He, he must watch the whole video because he, he'll he tell me everything that went on in the video. He, this guy's amazing. I, I can't do that. I wish I could, but I, I can't. Um, oh, my dog. Who wants to come here? Let me see. Who wants to see? Who can guess what kind of dog this is? Teddy. Well, he had a haircut. I want to see who I've already mentioned what kind of dog we have. So if someone can tell me what kind of dog that is just just for fun. I mean, he doesn't have the proper haircut. Turn that back around. 
I can't pro I can't pronounce that name, but no, it's not that. Nope, it is not. Nope, nope. And it, it is an actual breed. And I'll, I'll say this: it, uh, to make his breed, they had to cross two dogs. So I'm not sure if that would help. A white one. Yeah, it's it's a white one. That's just so what. You know who cares about a dog? <laughs> um, black, I think. Yes. What's up, brother? Thank you so much. All right. No, I haven't. Uh, anyways, the, the dog. I'll, I'll just say it. I'll just say it. Uh, I'll give you this hint. It's 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 a dog cross be between a, a Bichon and a Shih Tzu. Okay, you're close. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu is part of the the breed. That you're good. Good guess. Um. Anyways, he's over there. <laughs> he left. <laughs> It's it's a teddy bear. That's an actual the dog is an actual teddy bear. That's what he is. <laughs> it's a bear, yeah. <laughs> oh man, y'all y'all love it. I love it. I didn't expect to to crack it up so early in the morning, but man, y'all y'all are amazing. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. <clears throat> and it's it's um I think I think Petland closed. We, that dog, we actually had to pull out in payments. Can you? It's a polar bear. I <laughs> no, I well, kind of. No, I don't wish it a polar bear, but um, that it's it's a pretty outrageous, dog. especially when you go buy at at a, prof, I guess a professional big box store. They're gonna stick it to you. We we got they stuck it to us. We had to pull it out in payments. Can you imagine that? Uh, yeah, it's a teddy bear. He looks really really beautiful when his hair is puffy and stuck it out. But we just we just shaved him. <sighs> Uh, all right, guys. So if anyone's tuning in, these are the rods that I'm that that I'm working on. I had this covered up so it's not getting scratched up. This part, at least, just the tip is finished off. Um, I'm gonna repeat myself, and I and, and I do apologize if if you already heard this. Thirty people. Um, this is not gonna be the primary color, guys. This is how much work I just want to show you goes in to this. <laughs> um into these rods R right now the only thing i'm working on are these these accent points and they, i guess i don't know if you call them the design points so i'm gonna be wrapping this with probably a one inch tape that's all i'm working on right now these here i'm gonna be wrapping it the primary color is gonna be um fluorescent bright neon what is color here fluorescent yellow um i really really like the way this fluorescent yellow looks on underneath the black light oh, i put the net over there so anyways so if you're seeing this oh it's gonna be pink well not really it's gonna only have it's gonna be striped in pink so that's that's what we're doing so just trying to explain um i have well you can see the difference this part right here from right here this way is clear because i finished that part yesterday today i worked on the rest of the rod and you can see how it's flat here i need to clear this two two coats today um so what i'll be doing getting tape i'm thinking about using the the delicate surface frog tape yellow because it stretches a little bit and i need to work on this ridge and i want to make sure i have a really nice um clean seal so what i'm going to be doing is wrap well of course i'm just doing it really quickly it's gonna be better than this but it's i'm gonna i'm gonna do this here 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 and you know like that and then once i do that i have to prime it again white and then start working on the yellow um, so it takes two coats of primer to cover this, um, it, which is already, it already has two coats of primer before I even put the pink. So it takes two coats of primer, then your pink, then you clear it, then you let it dry overnight, then you mask it off, then you prime before you start doing the yellow because the yellow will never cover uh, the pink. I know y'all are, some of y'all are asking questions, but I'm just rambling on anyways. Um, pop into the show. Yes, um, I have not done any, um, of, of 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 the rigs that i'm supposed to be giving away and i believe you sent me an email saying that you wanted six hot um i kind of gave that option um if you want a big hook or small hook that, that that's uh i mean i miss error mention why don't you sell your here's the thing is 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 i i've been asked i've been asked how much would i charge to do this and i'll be honest if i said two two hundred dollars it's way too much work uh from at least for me even two hundred dollars, and then who in their right mind will spend two hundred dollars? I mean, I like to think this is a five hundred five hundred dollar paint job, but I mean, you can see it on my, to me on my show, it, it's worth it. It's worth the time that I take. This is a Chris Flores rod. I won two of them. I'm not sure if you're just tuning in. I won two of these rods. One's here, one's back there. Um, if you're seeing, 
it, you see how it's not all painted because there's no reason to put pink paint here when this is going to go this is going to go yellow the only part that's going to stay pink is are these accent points here even this and this part is going to go yellow i just want to keep this pink so i have to clear it and i'll be masking it off tomorrow and then working on but yeah it, it's just too much work um i don't know maybe one day maybe one day when i'm no man that's what i'm gonna be doing just sitting, I may, i'm a no man now so <laughs> so this is the primer that I, I'm, I'm using now I on on the um, what I did on my the rods that I'm using right now I used oil based kills and which is very very good but you have to give it a day to dry if not if you start giving it fluorescent paint over freshly primed um, it, it'll start cracking it'll look like it's looking nice and then at nighttime you come back and it's all cracked Elsie can you paint do wait Um, if I understand, can I do it for your rods? It would cost a fortune. <laughs> it would cost you a fortune. And that only, it, it's almost feeling like I'm ripping you off, but it's, it takes a lot of time. PGH, I haven't seen you in a long time. Thank you for saying hello. Good for you. Awesome. Just showing really quickly, guys, um, what I'm doing. This, this, the, the rod will not be hot pink. Only these accent points. I'm just, I just showed you really quickly how to, you know, I'm just, this is going to only stay pink. The rest is going to be yellow. It's going to look really, really good. Uh, broke my PB carp. Good for you. I'm glad that you caught a big, big. Guys, if I, um, if I did miss, I always go back. I'm like, you know what? That was an excellent question. Why didn't you catch it? And then I tell myself, because you're talking. You don't, <laughs> slow down. Just listen. listen. <laughs> uh, 35 people this morning tuning in to, to see Chunky's rods. Guys, once again. Um, some might not like it, but I did get, um, I did win once again. I'm sorry. I won. Uh, let me get this right. I did win one rod from Catfish Headhunter show. So if you don't know Catfish Headhunter, Norman, if you're still here or if you're not, if someone could do me the favor and put his, um, link, this is the Chris Flores, uh, blue catfish rod. I won one, one from, a uh, Norm on Catfish Headhunter show. And then um, Chris Lawrence tuned into the show and he was chatting. He, he told um, Norm to give, it, to give away one of his rods. And it was pick your number and I picked the number I won. So when I won, someone contacted Chris and said, you know what, I'm gonna pay for another one. So send him one on my behalf. And I have no idea who, who that was. It was someone who, who was all totally awesome, generous, and you know his budget allowed him to do that. And I can just say thank you, and I'm gonna be using this for for some time. I mean, I have no no, I don't know how long, but I'll I'll be showing this off and and showing, you know, what I think about it. And I'll I'll guarantee you, I'll, I'll absolutely try my best not to ever say anything negative. Period. That's just the bottom line. I love Chris, you know, too much, and it's a it's a beautiful rod. And I'll be honest, it 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 almost hurt me a little bit to paint it because it had some detail up here. It's all white, but. Uh, I should have showed this off before it's painted, but it had like little blue lines here. It was just, it's a beautiful rod. So I mean, there's no really no need to paint this rod. If you're, if you, if you fish at nighttime and you have a small light, just the way it comes white, it's perfect. Like I said, I do all this for the show guys. I love doing it um, for, with the black lights. There he is. Catfish Headhunter, put your link up there. I'm not sure if you just did it or not. Uh, Norm did it. Dad, thank you so much. Thank you, Betty, for doing that. Um, uh, good morning, sir. Well, good morning from Arizona. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, kind head 72. I don't understand what that is. Howdy. And uh, congratulations on your on your personal best carp. I think you said 18.5. I just I'm talking here. Thanks, Betty. Hi, Justin. 36 people hearing me blam on just go on and on. That was pretty cool. Last night I went live just to say hello to y'all and then we caught a fish. Of course, we didn't see the takedown because I was um, busy showing you the storm that had just passed by. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what else to, to talk about. I just wanted to show you the what it takes and, and the amount of coats. Thank you so much. If we need to get rid of him, get, get him out of here. I appreciate that. Um, we don't want no people here that don't need to be here. So guys, I'm just working, I'm trying to cover up. Oh, let, let, let me just show you how thick, some, some areas how the primer came out. Um, this is my primer here. It, it was a little orange peely, but you'll never see this. Thank you so much. Squash the people, thank you. Squash the, the spammers. Um, 
All right. Yeah, I've noticed that lately I've had two thumbs down. My live streams don't usually get more than one thumbs down, but we had two, so it's all good. You know, love, I love this rod so far. I love it. Um, I hope to have it done by maybe tomorrow or the following day, but it takes time, guys. Um, Betty, make sure to sub to channel. Yes, Betty, um, the little bit I saw, I enjoyed it. You're uh, an excellent speaker much better than me <laughs> you actually make sense to me i just stumble in but that's me that's all right guys 30 minutes how time flies haters will be haters yeah how uh um what is it um uh, realistic C calls them jerks they're jerks <laughs> they'll always be jerks uh let's see uh, great looking i can't wait to see it them in action yes i want to see them in action too yep it's definitely, I think this rod will probably do well with a five ounce. Um, it, 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 it's a strong rod. I can feel it. Um, confirm I fished the Potomac as well. 60 pound cat baby. Ooh, very nice. Good for you. I am really trying to break my personal best, my PB. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's been 52 pounds and it's been, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. We've, We've gone with Cookie was with me. I'm not sure if it was last year, 40, 45 pounds, but we're, everyone's waiting to be live when I catch. I'm going to say this, it, as long as it's 50 pounds, it doesn't have to break my personal best, but as long as it's 50 pounds, we're going to give away a rod on the spot there when we're live. That's, um, I did say one time it would be a rod of your, of your choice up to a hundred dollars, but we'll see. We'll see what, if we'll continue with that or if I might change my mind. I could change my mind, but it'll still be a, a very good rod. Unless someone says, Elston, I want you to give this rod away, you know, when so when you when you do catch it. We'll, we'll figure something out. All right, awesome people. Um, I'm going to close the show. It is my wife's birthday, so <laughs> I don't think she wants to have me on YouTube um, the whole day. And I don't want to bore y'all. So I do greatly appreciate y'all stopping by and saying hello. Um, catch an 80-pounder, I hope. You know, I'll be ha very happy. I have a six ounce on a flathead. Yes, the flathead's uh, six inches shorter, so I'm sure it would handle very well. Uh, paint your basketball court and fence. Kids play set. Um, no, we're gonna get a new play set. Uh, don't listen to the haters. Yep, there you go. All right, awesome people. We're gonna close the show. Just wanna show you the progress. It, the, like I said, once again, the rod will not be hot paint. It's just the accent points here. The, to your wife said happy birthday. I'll let her know that y'all said happy birthday. Thank you so much, Justin, for saying that. Absolutely. 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 All right, guys, we're going to, I'm going to say hello and thank you for stopping by and thank you for the, the super chat. That was very, very nice. Uh, painted with floors. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all take care. We'll see you on the water next time. Love y'all. Take care.